<laughs> Hello everyone, uh, I didn't plan on making like, a little video like this today, but uh, something came out today, uh, so uh, now I wanna, I had to make this video. So if you see by the title, you're probably like, what? No way! Well, let me just show you this from Glamour Magazine's YouTube channel. Do you think, do you think with me now? What's my... Oh, just that evil? No, I didn't do it. Oh yeah. No, I'm not trying to do that. Do you try to do? No, I'm not trying to do that. Hey. I started already. Hey. Hey. Oh, this is good. 되게 새로운 노래가 된 느낌이에요. 그러니까 다른 노래인데 거의. 어 레오 진짜 잘한다. 우와. Yeah, so uh, I've known about this for about a little over a month now. It's been really hard keeping it a secret because I was obviously very happy and excited about this. Yoongi and Hobi like my rapping. Namjoon said to send him a recording. <laughs> For the song, Jungle said he knows me, which is the, by far the most concerning thing there, because there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of weird stuff on the channel. So, but I just want to talk about my experience with it, how it made me feel, because in the video they cut out uh, a, quite a bit of my reaction, because it also my reaction was more like shock, and and I didn't actually have a a full realization till after I finished the interview, and I was like bawling. So I got an email from someone, they're kind of, they weren't really that specific, they were saying, oh, we, we work with like a big magazine, and we just wanna do a little, we're doing uh, little interviews about people who make BTS like covers and remixes. I was like, okay, I'm down to do that. And actually, I, I didn't respond for a little bit, and I remember she was like, hey, like, you should really do it. Do this interview, like, actually just do it. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And I'm very glad that she pushed forward and, was like, you should do it. So I was doing the interview and it was really cool and really nice. And I was just explaining how much uh, a BTS means to me and how much they inspire me and what I love about them and why I make remixes to their music and all that stuff. And then she's like, well, here, I'm just gonna send you this link. Just open it and we'll just watch it together. I'm like, okay, yeah. And I see them and I'm just like, and, and it, didn't even, it didn't even click in my brain at first. Like I see them watching me and like, I'm just like, oh, wow. Like my brain at this point, it just doesn't know what it's seeing. It's like, this isn't real. So I'm like, wow. Oh, that's so cool. And then I'm slowly like, okay, wait a fucking minute. And then <laughs> just, it was really cool and really special to see them watch me do a rendition of a song that they made and, and obviously they're my favorite artists in the world and, and I respect and love them more than anyone like ever. So not only to have them interact with me like that and n have them know of me, but to see that they actually enjoyed what I created was probably the most special part. I was just super blown away. Uh, by the way, the full link to the video, the video to the, sorry. The link to the full video is in the description. There's there's a lot of other uh, remixes and covers in there from, from different people and they're all so talented. So much more talented than I am and they're amazing. So check that out and check them out. Basically after the interview was over, after the, she, she sent me that link. So I just watched it over and over again, just in disbelief. And then I started like bawling, crying. I was like, it was one of those, <laughs> one of those ones. I was literally freaking out. I was freaking out. I was like, this is crazy. I, I can't believe it. I want to just I want to just tell people about it, but I, I didn't I kept it a secret for a whole month Are you proud of me mom? And then obviously this morning I actually got a text from my friend Amanda She's like it's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. And then I watched it and then I was like wow, that's so cool Um, and then I mean I knew this, as soon as I did this interview in this video my and this is how much <laughs> The internet has broken my soul. The first thing I thought of was, oh God, I'm gonna get so many death threats. I'm gonna get so many. I'm very accustomed to negativity and hate online. And I was like, this is the one. I'm gonna get so much hate from this. It's gonna break my soul. And you know what? It's definitely damaged. It's damaged me today. I've become a lot better with dealing with, with hate online. I've become a lot more accepting of being only able to control the things that I can control. And I'm very appreciative and I, and I very much try to put my focus on how much like support and love that people give me and like that's so special and that's what I care about the most. But then you like, you just check Twitter and like replies and it's like, oh my God, people are so evil, bro. People are so mean on the internet. That's such an obvious statement, but you really don't, 
you really kind of forget sometimes until until you like really see it. So I I just I deleted Twitter as soon as I posted. I posted the video. I'm like, look at BTS knows me wow. And then I deleted Twitter because I cannot check it. Because even if there's like four or five negative comments out of every hundred, as much as I want to focus on the 95 positive ones, the five negative ones, I'm like, Neh. and as someone who's quite openly, uh openly deals with anxiety and a lot of uh, depression and depressive issues. It's just, it gets to me quite a lot. So uh, it's a bit stressful and that's why I just needed to just delete Twitter for a bit cause it's just very stressful for me. And I think the thing is like people are just like, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not like I'm super upset that they think these things about me or whatever they think about me. It's like, it's just frustrating cause nobody knows me. The, Everyone just kind of hops on like one or two little things that they might have heard from someone or seen from someone. They make they make judgments on like they, a video they see or, or, or a tweet they see or something. When in reality, like the people who, who like know me actually well are the people who watch my videos and, and listen to my music and watch my streams and, and follow me and my friends and my family, like those people know me like the people who are the people who send so much hate like they just know these tiny little tidbits and then they don't take time to figure out, you know, the rest of me and the kind of person that I am. And that's okay. Like, I don't expect them to because it's just very easy to just hop on something and then like, oh, you hate this person? Okay, I'll hate this person too. I kind of just wish, you know, obviously it's the way, it's a very reactionary kind of world we live in. Very, very, very uh, negative online, especially kind of in, in K-pop community sometimes, like there's been cases in which, unfortunately, like idols have, have taken their life in due part to cyberbullying and things like that. And every time I see this little discourse online, like we need to be better, we need to stop bullying, we need to stop doing this. And then I kind of see the same cycle run through. And I'm not trying to be like, what was me? I'm just, and this is video is supposed to be more about how happy I am that BTS noticed me and, and enjoyed my song, but I do think it's important. I think it's just very important uh, to just try to, Cause people just, they really kind of just hide behind a, like a picture online. They don't really have, it's not really them. So they feel like they can kind of say whatever. And I'm very openly open about not being perfect and making mistakes all the time. And I always try to own up to them or apologize if I do something wrong. But it's very difficult when you put yourself out there. Like my job is to make videos and music and, and post online. So it's very kind of just anxiety inducing to do that stuff. And then when you do that stuff and especially something like this, where like something really big happens online, and then there's so much negativity. It really just, whew, really just stresses you out and just makes you so anxious. It makes you, it makes you not want to ever just go online again. And it's very difficult because that's like basically my job. I don't know where this rant's going. All I'm saying is just kind of when, when before you just try to make past judgments on people, just try to get to know the people, you know, try to get to know who they are and what they do and what they stand for and the things about them before making, you know, snap judgments or spreading negativity or hate. Uh, because you, most of the time you don't really know the full story or, or you don't know this person and you don't know that they've struggled with suicide in the past. <laughs> I'm not trying to make a joke. I'm making a joke of it because it's me. But anyway, moral of the story, I'm so thankful and appreciative to Glamour, to BTS, to all of you who are supporting me and showing me love from this specific thing. Any new people who are here, uh, feel free to explore the channel. There's a lot of just weird stuff uh, but you can also listen to my music and other remixes. It's a very safe space on the channel. I'm very, we're very supportive and loving and welcoming and open. And we talk about real issues. We also talk about stupid stuff. But I just try to make a very safe, open, just happy, positive place. But we're, where we can talk about, you know, actual stuff that happens in the world as well. So yeah, if you're new here, welcome. It's, yeah, just in, enjoy yourself, hopefully. And this was a bit of a rant. I'm sorry. And I did get off topic, though I did want to cover the topic of negativity online and me getting very anxious. But yeah, I hope I get the chance to, in any way, like interact with 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 BTS again because that was so cool. Obviously, a dream of mine is to like meet them and even. I mean, this is a this is a dream in a different galaxy, but to make a song with them, <laughs> even just you know you know Yoongi Hobi or anyone like I. That's obviously never gonna happen, but that's like my ultimate dream because my ultimate favorite thing in the world is making music. Their ultimate favorite thing in the world is making music, so I was like, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. But anyway, love you. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful day. Be nice to people if you can, and uh, spread love. Be vocal about change. Use your influence, and go vegan. Okay, love you, bye-bye, uh, and see you later, jungle. <laughs>